So now we're going to prepare for the seesaw song. So whenever they use the violin and bow together, it's important that they get the bow set up first. So they make sure that the bow is tightened, turning the bow to the right to tighten it. And then they go through their, their eight step bow setup, which I'll quick, go through quickly. And then they take the violin out, get it in position. And now, before, the first thing we're going to do is what's called the silent string crossing. So we have them set the bow, um, line it up right above the F-holes. And then what they're going to do is just raise their arm. And that's going to change which string the bow is contacting. And then they'll lower their arm. And this is silent because all they're doing is they're not actually pulling either like that. So they're just... They're, all they're doing is rolling the bow from string to string silently. And when they first start out, they may get some noises like things like that, but that's fine. That this, they'll get used to that. They'll get used to the, the right motion. So that will prepare them for the, the first part of the seesaw song. Before we do the seesaw song, though, they need to get their hand back in play, playing position, their violin hand. So what they'll need to do, and one really important thing is that they'll to for them to uh, securely set their chin on the chin rest, because that's what will free them up to be able to slide their hand back down. If their chin is in the air and they try to do that, all they would do is just pull the instrument away like that. And I actually sometimes will practice that with them. But if they set their chin down, they have a nice light feel on the, in fact, they can even, let's even start out with the, um, with, from this position, the finger slide, slide back like this, then they're going to set their thumb down, gently like that, so now they're, they're ready to go, so we'll, we'll come back to that in a minute, but the hand, the hand is ready at this point, so they set the, the bow on the E string, and we play a note for three counts, and now at this point they raise their arm up and bring the bow the opposite direction. We call it up bow because the point of the bow is going toward the ceiling. And then we roll it back to the E string and they go down bow because it's going toward the floor. And raise the arm up to the A and go this direction. Okay, so now at this point they're going to get their first finger and we'll, we'll have them slide up like we did in the previous lesson. They'll, they'll make sure their, their, their thumb has to be up against the uh, edge of the scroll like we did in the previous, a previous lesson. And then they slide up and put their finger down. And these each get one count. So, and we play this note six times. They lift that finger off and play the open A string, and then they repeat the open A string, and then we do that whole thing one more time. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, the first finger.